Art students, Brian Proctor back with another drawing lesson. And this one is a request from a subscriber. And this person asked me to do a Spider-Man position. So I wrote back and, and said, like, what, well, what type of Spider-Man position are you talking about? Because Spider-Man takes a lot of different positions when he swings or runs or whatever. So they said a type of action pose Spider-Man position. So I, I, at first I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to do a video for just one person and nobody get anything else out of it. But then I thought about it and I said, oh, okay, I can work this to where it can become a drawing lesson and everyone can get something out of it and I'll have it to where you use the shapes that I continue to beat people down about using or doing every day. So this is the Spider-Man swinging position, easy to draw using shape lessons, eh, whatever. So anyway, enjoy the video and I hope that you get something out of this because I did. All right, let's watch the video. All right, art students, this is the picture that we're going to use. This is a Spider-Man swing. <clears throat> And when I started this out, it, it took on a lot of different forms, as you'll see. Before I came up with this particular pose, because if you're doing a Spider-Man, he twists and turns and bends when he swings. So this is the final result that I came out with. So what I want to do with this one is because that person asked me to that subscriber. And I said, I hope that you are a subscriber asked me to do a Spider-Man position, just an action Spider-Man type position. And uh, usually I don't do um, characters, just draw characters, just to draw characters. I, I try to do positions so that you can draw your characters, or should I say I don't like to draw them to promote other characters. I want to draw this so that you can draw this to promote your own characters. But not everybody might not have a character. Some people just want to draw their favorite character or just learn to draw more. So this is why I agreed to do this particular uh, Spider-Man type of thing without doing Spider-Man. I didn't put a suit on it because I don't want it to be Spider-Man. So what I'm attempting to do is show you guys how to draw using the shapes that I continue to beat you guys down with using a square, circle, and triangle to show you just how easy it is to draw a character using those shapes so this camera zoomed in i don't want to zoom out because if i zoom out then you won't be able to see it as clearly so let's just do this so we're going to use those shapes that i always say the square circle and the triangle to do this as best we can i did a video a little while back showing you guys the pieces of the body that you use or the shapes of the body the shapes of the body shapes that you will use to create the body and um we're going to use these shapes to do this particular picture because i always say the body's a puzzle once you learn how to put that puzzle together it's easy if you buy a 20 30 piece puzzle and you try to put it together for the first time it's going to be a little hard because you don't know where the pieces go but you do that every day, every day, every day, and you'll put that piece of, you put that puzzle together quickly because you know where every piece fits. And that's the same thing with the body. Once you know the shapes and where they go and what they look like when you twist and turn them, then you'll be drawing things like this and probably better things than this. So let's start out with this, doing this. Let's get a clean sheet of paper just because I like to waste paper. So the first thing you want to do is your torso. And your torso is just this big oval piece right here. It's just this, which is this, it's your torso. Now, the torso is oval. Now when you turn it, I guess you could use it as more like a can, shall we say? A can, whatever the shape is, would be called but that's only if you have to turn or twist it to look up at it, would I do this. So because it's straight on, you won't need to do that. But just turning it, and I'll do this, I'll do little tweaks as I draw. I want to make sure this camera stays focused. So we do that. Then you have this part, which I call 
the little tuna can is just a rectangle, but if it was if it was um, tilted, it would be like this. Just the shape of a little tuna can, a hockey puck, a disc, what, what have you. I call it a tuna can. So we have that, and from that, always do your, your line, your center line. And the, because he's twisted, the center line is going to go more to the side, come all the way down. So we have this ball, and I did a video on that one about take, taking the little tuna can and putting the ball there. That way it helps twist. And then on top of that ball, you put the upside down house. And I'll leave a link to that video. If, you, if you're new, if you have just discovered this video and you're looking at it and you say, hey, I like that, but I don't know what in the world he's talking about. I'll leave a link to the video where uh, it'll tell you about these reference words that I'm using. So he's going down and he's twisting. He's twisting like over a little bit like that. So you're going to go there and that's going to be the point of the upside down house like that. And that ball usually is just a pivotal, pivotal mechanism so that this can twist because this is a solid piece and your hips are a solid piece. So they're not going to twist. The only part that's going to twist or bend is this little ball that holds the two together. It's kind of like having a toy. It's the way toys are made. They have that little ball. I think some of them have that little ball in between to you can roll so you can rotate your figure. Now, as I say, if you're turning this torso, if this is the torso, and you're gonna kind of rotate it up, let's say this is straight up, you have your hole for your neck right here. You have your hole for your arms here. You just have to have to kind of study the um, shapes and it's not going to be circle when it's turned up it's going to be more of um i don't know what, what shape that is because your chest is going to be here collarbone collarbone and it's your back but your spine comes up here so that's going to be almost like a football but you just cut it off or an eye just cut it off right here here's your your um which goes more in the back your hold for your neck, your chest splits here, and then your delts will go here. So that's looking at it from the top. So if you took it and you started looking at it from the bottom, it would be more like that. And then your, your, your um, slits for your arm. So we have the ball here and that's simple. That's just a circle when it's gonna fit up under. The way I do it is like this. I have that little mountain peak as I call it. You're gonna fit that ball kind of in there in that little peak well actually it's going to it's going to actually fit inside so if you did this that mountain peak would be like that the ball would be actually inside of it the same way with the upside down house that would be inside of it as well now if you took that and you turned it up Let's say, okay, so here's, this is what it looks like from the front. This is, that's your uh, center line. Now, if you tilted it up, the same as a tuna can, it would be round like that. And this would, this would round off too, like that. Now, if you want to lift it up, and remember, you have to leave some room for, as I say, the man junk. So then it turns into underwear. But as you tilt it upward, it will start to look like that. You'd start to see the holes in the bottom. You wouldn't see that roundness at the top anymore because you're tilting it the opposite way. So the more that you tilt it up, the more of a oval it would take. And let's just say I'm looking at it from the straight bottom, from the bottom, it would look like that, kind of like a uh, pig's nose or uh, what is that, Black Manta's helmet. It's like that, because the legs will come out from down here. So let's just say, if I had twisted this guy up more, if I twisted that Spider-Man pose up more, then you would have your oval here. You'd have your ball, but then you'd have this that would come up into the ball even more. So, and then you'd have this, as I said, your circle. And when you try to, when you do it, it's more foreshortening than anything else. You still have this 
and that, and this will just come up more, and you see the leg more. So the more that you show the bottom of that, the more it would come up here. So if we had this again, we'd have the ball here. We'd have this way up here somewhere. It's almost like you're looking up at him. The ball here, we have the ball in the upside down house. Did I say upside down house or did I say ball? And the whole thing is just manipulating your shapes, being able to manipulate your shapes. So the, the buttocks would be like right about here. The hole would be right here. And the holes will probably be a little rounder, but you're going to stick legs in these holes. So you don't have to worry about the actual shape of the hole because you're going to stick a leg in there somewhere, somehow. So, but the whole point is, and let me erase this with a good eraser that I'm holding in my hand. This is what you would see. So you're looking up. You still have that little mountain peak. You have this shoulder here, or this... Um, torso part here's your center line comes down around the ball and then straight down the crotch part so then you would flatten this out a little bit more because you have your chest like that remember you have your holes for your arms and this would come down like that so unless the person was looking down at you <clears throat> you would see his head you wouldn't see his neck and you see part of his chin and this is just kind of laying stuff back. And then, of course, you'd have your, your delts here. And then your arms would be there. And we're going to get to that point in a second. So back to this guy here. And I'm messing up my example. You have the upside down house. You have that little twist, as I said. This is going to be the center part there. Hole right here, hole right there for the leg. Now, the arms and the legs, let's let's do this first. You have your um, collarbone. Collarbone comes straight across. Now, we have one arm going up, so when your arm goes up, that collarbone goes up as well. So, we have that chest. The chest is going to be just over the top of the mountain, just a little bit, like that. And then, you separate to show where the side, where the chest turns at. Right here at this point. Now, how did I get that? Going back to an old video, doing the torso, you have the oval, you have your center line, you have your uh, shoulder, shoulder blade, I keep calling it shoulder blade, your collarbone, and then that upside down U, which is the bottom of the rib cage. Now, at this point, in this point, you draw that straight line, straight down. The chest is here, and at this point, it just represents where your chest turns and curves up. So, if you did a uh, three quarters view, it'd be the same thing. You have that, make sure you guys can see this. You have your, your mountain, your upside down mountain, and your collarbone. And then again, at this point, and this point, as much curve as you have here and here, you have the same amount of curve. And that way, that way, that way, your chest curves up right there. And of course, at your collarbone, you have your delts. And you have your arms and your chest comes up underneath that arm right there. So that's how you can tell where to make that turn in the body right here at this point here. And then that can go down. You actually have a little more waist. It goes down into the crotch. This comes down into the crotch because that center line is going to be here. And then you have some more, a little more hip and then your leg. That's a whole nother drawing. So back to the Spider-Man. We have torso again you have that mountain which is this part right here you have that ball which is actually in here which is this whole piece here then we have that now doing your legs and arms those are just cylinders that's all it is when I, when I did the where did it go where did it go this that's just going to be cylinders that's all your arms and legs Represent any drawing book kind of tells you that but this is kind of a little better than a drawing book because you have a guide showing you so We have that chest. It's going to curve around right here and here This one's going to go up and you're going to have your um, your delt Facing up so if you drew a circle right here for that whole part 
and then you do that cylinder right here on that ball. You can cut where this arm is. Let me show you this. Where this top of his arm comes down, you just cut that, and that goes into the chest. And then this is your delt right here. And then it goes into your collarbone. And remember, when your collarbone is usually straight across like this, and then your delt comes down, and then your arm. But when you lift your arm up, that collarbone comes up too. And then right off of that collarbone, you have your delt. Because that is not, that's really not part of your collarbone. It's a separate muscle. So, and then it, your arm fits underneath that. And I did a video on that as well. I think I'll leave a link. Well, I'll just leave a link to where all my videos are. That way you can kind of piece through it. And then you have your shoulder, shoulder, the V here for your neck. And of course your head goes, it's a little tiny head, but your head goes here. And your chest comes down. Your chest comes straight down from this line. It doesn't go like this because this is a rested pec like that when it's resting. It sits down like that. But just think about pulling a rubber band. If you pull a rubber band, it's going to thin out a little bit, stretch and thin out. Same thing for the chest. And you have your, your delts here, your lats right there. So I've already showed you how to twist that, to twist it up. So this leg right here, if you just think about, it goes here and here. So that's just a cylinder right here. And I'm going to speed this up because this is a simple part, just a cylinder, just round the whole thing off. This other one here, same thing, cylinder. Was I not using a whole new sheet of paper to do that? I think I was, but I started drawing on it. So let me use this one as an example, and I'll just draw on this one. So again, let me pull it back because his arm is going to be off. You have this cylinder, and it's going this direction, so it's not going to be up and down. It's going this way. So I have this. That's it. That line is you. And like I said, for the um, torso, collarbone, point here, point there, it's three quarters. Now let's move it over just a little bit more. Use your eraser, put your marker down like that. So if you can't draw that U, just draw a V like that, a upside down V. You have the ball in there, and then you have the upside down house here. And remember this twist a little bit, just a little bit to that point. This arm goes up, so this collar, collarbone goes up. Put that circle here at the end of that. Put your arm here, or your first cylinder here. And then you, if you want to draw a little ball here for the joint, you can. And put your second cylinder there. Remember, this goes up and it curves. So when this arm comes down, it curves. This is going to be a lump, like a shoulder pad, drawing a shoulder pad. It's going to be a lump and it's going to follow the chest. Like that. Now, again, with the cylinder, you know your hole is going to be here. You have a cylinder. Now, I usually put a little bit of curve into my cylinders. So, it's going to be like this. And then, with this one, you're going to have another cylinder. But the cylinder is going to be behind this knee. So, if you took a cylinder like this, take it back in, in time, like that, like that. And just take this and put this here. So, if you take this, put it back. Go back like this, you have your second cylinder. Same thing with that leg up, you're going here, you have to have room for the man junk. You're gonna take a cylinder because this is round, this is gonna be round too, and you just add the rest in later. So you just, however height you want it, say like about right here. Let's shorten that a little bit, just because. And then this one is the same thing as this, except it's coming out. It's coming out this way, and you won't see the inside of that. Like that. 
So and you can have it higher up or lower down. It, it doesn't matter because, as I said, as you saw in the picture, that I had so many different arm leg twist positions. It was just crazy. So I decided to settle on this one just so I could show you guys more foreshortening. Like that. And then your foot can be... Your foot can be... If you're drawing a foot... Like, if this is his leg, this is the other leg right here. A foot is more half of a triangle like that. A whole triangle would be like that. Cut half of it off. And it's just adding a little more shape to it. And my next video is going to be about that. Sh adding shape to the muscles. Straight down and out. And so if you draw that up, it would be more like a block or wedge like this. So I guess you could say it's a building in perspective going back, way back, and then except this would be straight, straight across, all the way like that. And that would be the bottom of the foot. So you, you know that your, that your instep, your foot curves in and back out and it's rounded off like that. So where's my pen now? I need my pen. So the foot is going to curve in like that, there. And then you have this part and this heel rounds up like that. And that's all that is. And then you can bring, remembering that this cylinder is round here, so it's going to be round there. And then it goes back and it widens and it's round again like that, bottom of a foot. Now I just did that to... Because when Spider-Man swings, he always bends his foot. And you can do that. You don't have to. But it's just a quick way to draw the bottom of a foot and just work on it because that's more of a size 7. And spider Man's probably like a size 12 or 11. So you make that one a little wider, a little bigger. So <laughs> going back to this. Remember, using the shapes. So here we go again. We can bring that up. And this, this, this building here, this square, like that. Switch that triangle and bring that flat. Then you just want to curve it like that. And this is just for now, if you guys are not really big feet drawers, this is just a quick lesson. And holler if I go off camera. If this thing goes out of focus, just holler and catch me. So the same thing with this, you can draw the square like that, since you won't see the bottom of it. And then this instep is gonna be down at an angle and then you're gonna have that little suction into the foot and it comes around and you have your heel like that. Now this other arm, you have this chest here. Chest, yeah, yeah the chest is here. The, the, Delt, you have your collarbone because this actually it's going back. He's pulling his arm back. So if how can I explain that one? Let's do this. If you have your torso, collarbone, and your delt here, your delt here. If you look at that from the top, there's your your hole for your neck. Your delts are like this. It's going to be like that. Here's your chest, separates, here's your collarbone, and it kind of makes that diamond shape because they go into your delts. It goes into the center of your delts. Your collarbone stops kind of like into the center of your delts and almost kind of splits them. So they can go forward <clears throat> and then they can go backwards by shifting your arms. Say like if you were pointing a gun at somebody, that delt would go forward like that, and your arm would be facing this way. And this would still kind of go, this would go forward too. And it stays in the center of that delt regardless. I think it would be like that. You can point in that gun. And it can go back the same way this arm is going back. It would go, you have your chest, and then it would go back behind you like that, and that arm would go back. So just remember that whenever you're drawing, because if it goes back, you won't see the bicep. 
especially if it goes like way back, but you will see just if this is the chest and it comes up to the collarbone, that that little piece of delt will be right here. So it's just kind of like a lump. And usually when you draw uh, the angle from the top or top part, you, you want to use just one whole piece. I'm trying to think of the angle. So you, you can just use one whole. If you're drawing, if this is the head, and so you're looking down at the person, it's just best to draw like one whole piece. There's the chest, there's the other peck, and then there is the other uh, delt. So then you can draw your arm coming this way, this way, and then however you want to draw your arm and your lats. And I did a stomach, I did a stomach, I did a uh, video on drawing this position in different positions, shall we say. So yeah, it's good to do one piece, remembering here's your shoulder blade, here's your other shoulder blade, your neck, you probably won't see it, depends on how big the head is, and then your back muscles come. And this actually goes all the way around your back like this, like that. So it, 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 this actually is like a curve in there. But again, I'm going to do a video about doing ripped characters, more like don't do ripped characters, but you'll see when I, when I, when I do the video, because I have to explain it before I do it. Or I have to be able to explain it before I do it. So if this arm, and while I've got like this, if this arm is here and you have this fist, let's say this arm is going back, you won't see that bicep or you might see just a piece of that bicep and then you can see the forearm like that and then the fist could be like that. So you're seeing this bicep, tricep, but you're not seeing that bicep there because it's going, it's going back. And then you can have your your upside down house. You won't see, you just see this, this part of the, the stomach. You see this part. When you bend over, you won't see any of this. You see some of this because this has got to be when, when this part is, when you, you if, if this is a person and the top part bends over like that, you still see this part flat because your legs have to come out and then sit there flat. So you just see the top of the head, the shoulders and the delts. So as I said, this part would be there. And I'm showing you a whole new different kind of thing, but it all works together. It's all about drawing and teaching you guys. So you have that. So this will actually come way up here into the body that you won't see. And then you have your legs like that. Like that. So he's just bent over and you're seeing this and remembering that this will, will come forward and it will go back as well. So, yeah, I just gave you a whole new drawing lesson. Back here. So, with this going back, you're not going to see the bicep. You're just going to see that cylinder come out right there. And then just square for the hand. And just a square for the hand here. Now, you have the head. And since this guy is looking up, or he's looking at where he's shooting his web, you will see the bottom you will see the bottom of his jawline. And that's just drawing a U. <clears throat> okay, here you have your head. And if you start to look up, well, here's your, here's your jaw, jawbone, or your jaw, yeah, your, your, your chin, jawbone, and your head. So if this guy starts to look up, you'll, you'll see just a little bit of underneath of the um, chin. You will get rid of this in place for just a, the circle. The more, the higher he looks up, the more you're going to see. So that's kind of like a W, a wavy W. And then your neck comes down like this. And you'll see, you, you, I, can't, I, I can't explain this little piece here, which is going to maintain, but you won't see the whole part. You'll see just part of it. Because your face is an oval itself. So that's my phone. Let me cut it off real quick. So basically, I mean, you can make it a little wider. It doesn't have to be so much like a W. It could be more wider. And then you have your chin here, your mouth here, maybe the bottom of your lip. Your nose is going to be more of a, a um, upside-down triangle. Or you can just have your nostrils here 
Uh, you can have part of it. No, don't, don't even try to shake the nose. This is not a, a face tutorial. And then of course your eyes are going to be here and it's going to be shortened because you're looking up. So what was long before like this is now shortened, except for you, you'll see more chin and then eyes here and you'll see that chin. Some people draw it and they just don't, they don't do this. This is more of a hard angle, but some people can draw and then kind of just leave the broken line and it still looks like that the person is looking up. Like that. To the point like that. All right, sorry about that. I don't know how I'm going to edit that, but since I was on the face, this is a little jacked up, but you, you're going to see more chin because that's going to be kind of closer to you. And then whenever you draw a face, if it's tilted up, remember the whole face curves. So the eyes have to curve. The nose has to curve. Even the mouth is going to curve and the bottom lip is going to curve. So that's another video. Back to this, which we're almost kind of finished, really. And then you have your neck. So that, the back of your head, you got to get the right size head. This is going to go right down into the, the neck and then your piece of your shoulder right there. So from there, that's pretty close. Now you start tweaking after that because you already have everything you need to do your drawing, which is just your cylinders, your oval, your upside down house, and the likes. So just being able to draw the muscles in after that, or just the shapes of the muscles in after that, then the rest is, as they say, it's just child's play. So you have the legs, the legs are going to come all the way up here and your legs are shaped like that. You got to have a little more waist here. Your legs are going to come up. It's going to thicken right here, go down, come around, curve out. You're going to have that, that part. Now, if, if, if he lifted his front up more, then you would see the buttocks. You see that curve right there for the buttocks. But seeing as it's not twisted up more, you're just going to see that line for the crotch right there. Make the legs a little fatter. Erase this because you won't see that. This will come and stop. Now this could be a little bit longer, but that's just something you're going to have to do. And it's always say when you draw before you ink something, stop, walk away, come back later and you'll be able to see your mistakes a little bit better. This, this could be wider because this is going back. This is going to be smaller. This is, should be a little bigger because it's closer to you, which is something I saw after I inked mine that I should have made it a little bigger. Well, the foot could have been a little bigger, the leg coming up ooh, a little bigger because it's closer to you. And then the curve, the hand, which we won't get into, holding that web or the other web. And then this one with the fingers and the thumb shooting the web like that. So just by using those shapes, it's quick and simple. How, how fast was that? That was pretty fast drawing this. And then from there, you do your um, muscles. And as I said in another video, it's one thing about um, muscles. You really don't need a lot of muscles. If you're doing a costume or something on this character, say that, if that was a Spider-Man and however the spider suit looks, that's going to cover up a lot of your muscles and don't get on me because I don't really know what Spider-Man suit looks like. Spider-Man's suit looks like. So again, as I say, that that could cover up a lot of muscles. Yeah, his gloves are not like that, but I'm just putting them like that. They will cover up a lot of what would have been a muscle. There are certain muscles you, you will show and there's some, certain ones that you don't have to show. So 
So, so what? So there you go. And just following that, those little steps for drawing those shapes that I always get on people about, draw your shapes, draw your shapes. It makes drawing a lot quicker, easier, and more simpler once you learn that puzzle piece. Once you learn how to, the puzzle pieces, how, put, how to put the puzzle pieces together. Say it right, Brian. Say it right. So my phone call kind of took my head away from what I was doing, but I think I did cover everything that I wanted to cover. So pretty close to that, the two. So just by doing, and that's how basically I draw. I draw with the cylinders. It might not be um, cylinder, cylinder shape, just like I do the legs. I'll do my ovals more, more, and then knee, and then, but it's still basically a cylinder shape, but I put a little more curve into the, into that cylinder because I'm just used to curving um, my legs and my arms or my cylinder, shall, shall I say. And once you start doing it more, then you'll be able to do the same thing. You'll be able to curve your stuff as well. What are you saying? You'll be able to do the same thing as well. Once you start getting it together, you'll be able to do it. My brain is, is just like slowly just running to another country right now. So I'm just going to end this video right now. So hopefully you did get something out of that. And this is, as I said, this was to the subscriber that asked for that. And um, I was I, the reason I did that because I was able to teach you guys using the cylinders and the, there's no triangle, I'm sorry, other than the foot, the foot was a triangle, but I was able to pull that out of the hat and show you guys how to use the shapes to, <clears throat> to make a character. Or, uh, anatomy so as I just color this because I'm an artist and I'll just keep on playing with stuff and then just throw it away later so yeah I guess I'll keep coloring and I'll see you guys on the next video peace out